Hi, this is Mike Haber. Thanks for asking me what's the difference between a no contest and a guilty plea. And the answer is it depends. Sometimes there's no difference at all, and other times the difference can be a world apart. If you plead guilty, you are flat out admitting to the facts of the case, just as they were alleged by the police and the prosecutor. In fact, before a judge accepts your guilty plea, there's a 99.9% .9 chance that you're going to be asked under oath whether you're pleading guilty because you're in fact guilty. And if you say anything other than yes, then the, the overwhelming odds are that the judge is simply not going to accept your plea. Once a guilty plea is accepted, you've agreed to be responsible for any and all legal consequences of the facts of your case. On the other hand, if you plead no contest, you admit the facts, but you specifically do not admit guilt. In either event, once a plea is accepted, you're going to be sentenced. But in Florida, if the court accepts a no contest plea, then that plea cannot be used against you in either a civil lawsuit or a subsequent criminal case. So here's an example. You're arrested for theft and you plea. A few years later, you're arrested for racketeering, and the bulk of this new prosecution involves other theft-related acts. If you had pled guilty to the earlier theft case, then that admission of guilt may well be admissible against you in your new racketeering trial. But, had the court accepted a no-contest plea in that earlier theft case, then your RICO jury would never know that you had pled guilty to a prior theft case because you didn't plead guilty to a prior theft case. You pled no contest. Thank you for your question. I appreciate your having asked it, and I invite you to ask me more. Please remember at Michael A. Haber, PA, it's all about reasonable doubt. And if you like this video, please subscribe. We'll be putting out more soon.